praise to you, O Christ. Let us continue our reading of uh, a spiritual classic, St. Francis de Sales, Treatise on the Love of God, Volume 2, Book 11, Chapter 4. How divine love sanctifies virtues in a still more excellent way when they are practiced by its order and command. After the beautiful Rachel was greatly desired to bear children to her beloved Jacob, she became fruitful by two means. When she was unable to have children of her own body at the beginning of her marriage, she employed as if by way of loan, the body of her servant Bela, whom she took to her side for fulfillment of her marriage, of her marriage duties. She said to her husband, I have here my servant Bala. Take her in marriage, go into her, her, go into her that she may bear upon my knees and that I may have children by her. It turned out according to her wish, for Bala conceived and bore many children upon Rachel's knees. Rachel accepted them as really her own, inasmuch as they had been begotten from two bodies, that of Jacob, belonging to her marriage by law, and that of Bala, belonging to her by duties of servitude, and still more because their birth had been brought about by her order and will. Afterwards she had two other children, not commanded and ordered by her, but conceived by her, and brought forth and produced from her own body, namely Joseph and her beloved Benjamin. I say to you, my dear Theotimus, that when sacred charity and election, a husband hundred times more beautiful than Rachel, sorry, I say to you, my dear Theotimus, that when sacred charity and election, a hundred time, times more beautiful than Rachel, is wedded to the human soul, it desires ceaselessly to bring forth holy deeds. If it is at first unable to beget offspring of its own blood by the sacred union uniquely proper to it, it calls upon other virtues to be its faithful servants. It joins them with it in its marriage and commands our hearts to employ them, so that through them it may cause holy deeds to be born. It does not fail to adopt these deeds and esteem them as its own, since they have been produced by its order and commandment and by a heart belonging to it. For, as we have said elsewhere, love holds mastery over the heart and consequently over all the works of the other virtues done by its consent. Moreover, this divine love has two acts that are its own proper issue and extraction. One of them is elective love, which, like another Joseph using the fullness of royal authority, subjects and disposes the whole people, namely, our faculties, powers, passions and affections on the God's will, so that it may be loved, obeyed, and served about all, above all things. By such means it puts the great commandments of heaven into effect. You shall love your Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your whole soul, and with your whole mind, and with your whole strength. The other is if affective and affectionable love which, like little Benjamin, is very delicate, tender, pleasing and lovable.
But in this, it is more fortunate than Benjamin, since Charity, its mother, does not die when it brings it forth, but seems rather to gain new life by the joy it experiences in that birth. Teotings It is thus that all virtuous actions of God's children belong to sacred dilection. Some belong to it because it produces them of its own nature, others because it sanctifies them by its enlivening presence, and finally, others by the authority and command it exercises over the other virtues by which it brings them to birth. Although these last are not actually so eminent in dignity as actions that properly and immediately issue from charity, yet they incomparably surpass actions that derive their whole sanctity from mere presence and association with charity. Here ends our third reading.